Hello YouTube, uh, I'm going to show you how to do a three minute high charge test uh, to determine if the battery plates are sulfated, the plates are done in it, uh, or they can be revived. And you do this test after the battery has failed, the load test. So to do this test, we need to hook up the charger. So we hook up the negative to the negative side, positive to the positive side. Then we take the wall plug, which is the last thing that you plug in. Okay, the settings on the charger here are, you can charge it at four different amperages. Two amp, 20 amp, 55 or 150. So if you're doing an overnight charge, which is the best thing to do, you put it at the bottom. So the option, you can change the option by pressing the charge rate button. 20 amp versus 2 amps, but for our test, the 3 minute high charge test, you need about 30 to 40 amp charge for 3 minutes. This only gives us a 55 amp option, so we flip this up, so 55 or 150, you don't want it at 150, so 55 amp, and to turn the charger on, you press the timer button, you, the only option is 15 minutes, but we are not going to charge it for uh, 15 minutes. We put our timer on for three minutes. So we have our timer going at the end of three minutes. We'll take our multimeter, make sure it's switched to voltage DC. Okay, let's wait till voltage DC. And we're gonna check, we're gonna touch the negative and positive, and the voltage should not go over 15 and a half volts. If it is, the battery is done, the plates are done. If it's below 15 and a half, then you can revive the battery. So we'll wait till it's three minutes. So we almost done with three minutes. Make sure the charger is still on. It's still hooked up. We need these things hooked up. So there we go. We got three minutes done. Okay. Three minutes done. So we will check negative to negative, positive to positive, and we are reading 13, well, 14 volts. Okay, so it's not going over 15 and a half volts, which means we can still charge the battery and revive it. When you disconnect the charger, it's very important that you always unplug it from the wall first. Unplug the wall because you don't want any spark. If you don't want to unplug from the wall and the charger is on, you take the alligator clips off, it's going to spark. Hydrogen spark kaboom. So please don't do that.